Hey guys, Patton here. So I've been getting some requests to do a RetroArch video, just focusing on RetroArch and adding the cores and games and things like that. So that's what this is going to be all about. This is um, a video where you should have already, um, you know, installed Hackchi, dumped everything that you needed, and you've gotten it to work no problem. This is just to add the actual modules so you can play Nintendo, Atari. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games on your Super Nintendo Classic. So if you haven't already dumped your kernel and flashed the uh, custom kernel, go to my first video where it explains how everything works with the 2.2 release of HackG. So uh, let's get started. Let's go into our, our HackG folder. Um, you're going to want to use the second link in the description to download the RetroArch HMOD file which we need and the cores file. It'll all be in one zip, you just unzip it. Now these are, are your cores that you're going to um, or your modules that you're going to install with HackChi to use on your Super Nintendo Classic. Technically this can go in here too. That's fine because you're going to be, in, you, for the most part you're going to install all of these. All right, so let's open up HackG. Wait a minute. Yeah, still there. Make sure you have that dump. I can't emphasize that enough. Dump that. HackG. Anyway, okay. All right, so we have our HackG. We've already added games. Now you can, to add games, you can add any type you want. Super Nintendo, Nintendo, um, like I said, Sega Genesis, uh, whatever you have. You know, I have all these different types of emulators. Um, yeah, so um, let's see what we have. We have uh, the original games. We'll, we'll put F Zero and, and Kirby back. Okay, we got the original games. Uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. What else? More Nintendo. Here's Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Genesis, and. N64, yes, the uh, SNES Classic can play N64 games, but just not very well. Apparently, Super Mario 64 runs well on it, and you're going to need a controller that has, you know, an analog stick to play it. So, we put all our games on here. Awesome. Now, what do we do? You go into your Modules tab. Install Extra Modules. Now, I've already done it, but I'll show you guys how to do it again. So, when you have this box open, you go to your cores folder. Let's minimize it a little bit so we can get them both on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So your cores folder. You're just going to drag and drop them into the box. You'll know you're doing it right when you see the little transparent rectangle with the, the plus square right next to it, next to the mouse. That means it's, it's going to go in there. It's going to be added. And then it's going to generate all this. So all the ones I just checked, those are the ones that were just placed into the box. These over here, this music hack, that's for something else. Password, remove thumbnails, and the borders. Those are all something I'll explain on a different video. But, so now our modules are ready to be used with HackG. And like you can see as I go through each one, you highlight one, it'll explain on this side right here which core you're using. So Final Burn Alpha, that's for some arcade games. Same thing for the CPS2. Uh, Gambate, I don't know, Gambit, whatever. Um, this is for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Genesis Plus, we have Sega Master System, Mega Drive and Genesis games, and Game Gear games. And for each one that you, you click on, it tells you what type of ROM you need. So you need like a GB ROM for the uh, Game Boy, Genesis. It runs the uh, MD, SMS, and the GG ROMs. Gloopin64 is the N64 emulator that runs with RetroArch. Again, N64 ROMs or N64G ROMs. Mednafin. Um, we'll run PC Engine games. MGBA is for Game Boy Advance. 
Pico Drive is another Sega Master System, Mega Drive, and Genesis Game Gear. This one adds Sega 32X compatibility. The RetroArch is what you need to put Nintendo games on your SNES Classic. So it uses these two emulators to run or support, whatever you want to call it. So RetroArch, if you want NES games on your SNES Classic, you need this RetroArch mod. S9X 2010 is for Super Nintendo games. Like I said in the other video, um, there's only about 75% compatibility with the stock emulator that comes with the SNES Classic. So for those games that won't run stock, you should install this module here so that you can run those like Illusion of Gaia. I heard that doesn't run whatsoever. There's some SFX games that won't run. And then Stella is for the Atari 2600 games. So, let's see. Uh, how about Game Boy Color? Let's do some Genesis N64, Game Boy Advance, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, yeah. So, as your Super Nintendo is turned off, mine is off right now, click OK. It's going to give you the instructions to hold the reset as you turn the power on. Once you hit that power button, wait about five seconds. Let go of reset. It's going to start building the custom kernel image, allowing you to use all those modules that you just installed to play the games that you added over here. And that's really all you have to do to get uh, RetroArch working. And there's some settings in there you can mess with. Once we get into it, I'll show you guys all that stuff. But yeah, um, just add the games, drag the modules into that box under, you know, install new modules. Make sure the boxes for the modules are checked just like these boxes are. If they're not checked, they won't install. So make sure the boxes are checked. Hit the OK button, hold reset, push the power button, and boom. It'll start flashing the custom kernel to allow you to play all those games. So this is finishing up. Okay, we are all done. Oh, but before we do that, yeah, we have to synchronize the selected games with the <laughs> Super Nintendo. All right, so yeah, you have your modules installed and everything. Hit the synchronize button. So all those games that you just added will actually transfer over to your Super Nintendo Classic. I sometimes forget that because I have these already on there. Anyway, so yeah, <clears throat> at the end of every step, always hit the synchronize selected games button. won't take long we don't have too many too many games on here even with the bigger games like Super Mario 64 and stuff like that they'll, they'll still transfer pretty quick as long as you're not filling up your entire amount all right we're all done now let's go ahead over to the SNES classic and see how everything looks okay and here we are back on the SNES classic and as you can see here our games transferred over here's our Nintendo Super Nintendo what else do we put on here more Nintendo that's our Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Everything has transferred over. Wonderful, but are they going to work? Oh, N64, yeah, I can't forget about that one. And Genesis, so let's open up uh, our Genesis game. See if that, that's working. All right, it is. This is me, Genesis. I'm, I'm apparently playing X-Men. Oh, where'd I go? Okay, we're here, so yeah. And again, the... Uh, controller shortcut to get out is still the same thing. You hold down select or whatever your controller shortcut is to go back to the main menu. It works on all games, not just Super Nintendo. Um, so what else do we have? Nintendo? I don't want to play that one. Where's Battletoads? There it is. Battletoads is, is usually like my go-to game. I don't know why. It's just so easy and fun. Well, yeah. Uh, what was that? Genesis? Super Nintendo's working? What else do we got? We got a couple Game Boy games, I think think oh, there's one here's Game Boy Advance 
Double check that, make sure it's working. Oh, look at that. We even get the little uh, little bit of widescreen action going on with the Game Boy Advance. So, you know, the emulator does alter that based on which one you're using. Uh, Game Boy Color. There it is. Now, I know you've been wanting to see if this is going to work or not. Where's that N64 Mario? I, I, I. Let's see. This is going to be crazy. I actually haven't tried N64 games with my NES Classic or the SNES. Ah. Oh my gosh. It's working. Now, obviously, I can't play this because the Super Nintendo controller doesn't have analog sticks, but, I mean, the buttons still work. You know, I'm hitting the B button like crazy. There's zoom with the X and Y. L and R don't seem to be doing anything. Oh, start starts it. We can get into the game. Wow. So even in 64 games, fun stuff. Uh, so there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Okay, uh, so let's get Battletoads again. There it is. Now to access the RetroArch menu, um, you hold down the select and start buttons and here it is now you don't want to if you don't know what you're doing you don't want to mess around too much in here because you can you know alter things and it just doesn't work but if you know you have your settings um, it's just your basic options video options frame rates uh, scales things like that audio volumes um, what you guys might find important is if you want to change the button uh, layout for your games you want to go to input um, and you know depending on you know which emulator is running at the time um, you have to go to your binds right here user one binds for player one user two binds for player two you hit the a button um, and then you just go through each one the b button what are you going to use on the controller you hit a then you hit the button that you want and since i hit anything it timed out but this is what you do if you want to turbo, select, start, up, down, left, right, A, you know. So again, depending on which emulator you're using, you'll have different input options. But this will be real useful for those who want to, you know, change that in their games. If they don't want, you know, B and A being B and A, you want Y as the jump, or, you know, Y is the fire key on, like, Mega Man or something, and B is the jump, like, traditional Mega Man X or something like that, you can do that. And that's basically it. That is the entire uh, how to install games, install RetroArch modules to your SNES Classic to get them to uh, run. And you might notice this this screen is getting kind of cramped. You know, there's a there's a whole lot of not a lot of room to play anymore. So we may have to make another video on how to remedy that. So anyway, this has been Patton. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm real happy that I've been able to help a lot of people with this stuff. I've gotten a lot of good feedback, some people subscribing to the channel. I never thought, you know, anybody would be all that interested. But but anyway, um, stay tuned. I'll be making some more videos on this stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.